man is different is a different species a man must just have to be a man so i want you to gaddle yourself this night and be ready to pray you know god put some prayer points in my prayer uh, focus prayer prayer topics prayer direction in my mind and uh, i put them down in five categories now these five categories will be taken some has four prayer points under it some has five prayer points under it. Oriola, please leave that place and concentrate some has five prayer points under it you know but make sure when it is time for you to pray pray that prayer with the whole of your heart our theme is speed and our topic our prayer focus is still speed let's go to genesis 24 verse 12 now to confirm if that scriptural topic is something that we really need to pray about let's see whether it is biblical genesis 24 and verse 12 genesis 24 and verse 12 genesis 24 and verse 12 and while they are bringing up the scripture every man like i said losing yourself so that you can pray i know there are so many things on, on your head but put it to jesus are you hearing me so many things is on your head I want you to put it before Jesus so that you can have time to pray. I know some of you will be thinking of rent towards the end of this year. Some of you are saying there are so many things planted in front of me. I was listening to a woman of God of recent. He said, hey, don't go to a man's world. If you know what is happening in the head of a man, hey, don't go to his world. But listen, put everything, no matter what is going on on your head, put it to Jesus now. May you enjoy speed in progress. Are we there? Let's look at the scripture. Genesis 24 and verse 12. Now, this was the prayer point of the servant, excuse me, of Abraham. The Bible says, and, and he said, and he said, O Lord, God of my master Abraham, I pray thee, send me what? Good speed. There's bad speed. If there's good speed, there is bad speed. May we not experience bad speed. So when we are saying speed, we tag it well. He said, I pray thee, send me good speed this day and show kindness unto my master Abraham. It's okay. That was the prayer he prayed. And what was the assignment? Abraham said, go to so so and so place and make sure you look for a wife for me from so so and so place that's from my family uh, from my family and uh, this young man left the house and he started going and you know imagine you are told to go and look for a wife it's just like somebody saying uh, go to uh let me look at uh, let me look at okiado now yes go to okiado and look for a wife you know you know that you meet several women how will you know the one that is meant for isaac so this one knew that he needed prayer one and apart from prayer he knew that he needed to do it on time you don't come for a wife after isaac is old amen you don't bring a wife to isaac after he's old so he needed god to intervene and he said lord give me good speed lord give me good speed. i wrote here in my notes if you pay close attention to the request of abraham's servant from god you will discover the meaning of our topic it is all about God's intervention that will settle us on time. That's what we have come for. It has see your Lord Uchi Uma Jeki Yano Tete Shele Nino Ayewa. That is God's intervention that will settle us on time. God's intervention that will settle us on time. You know, and when we are settled on time, <coughs> excuse me, there are so many things we'll be able to do. I pray in the name of Jesus, may you have quick, divine settlement from God in Jesus' name. It also means that you are not delayed. Now, when you talk about speed, it means that you are not delayed. It's not that the things, the good things of your life are not happening at the time that it's supposed to happen. You know, speed means that the good things of your life are happening very, very fast. Very, very fast. I remember when we were building this particular church. A, a senior man of God in this area called me on phone and said, Pastor Prince, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I was passing through Liberty Road 
how did you do it? Did you people carry the church and just plant it there? Because within a space of months, we got it achieved by the grace of God. So uh, when we talk about speed, we are saying you are not, you did not, act, sorry, it's, you are not delayed. It's when you are not delayed. When you are not delayed. When you have early gratification, just like the prayer of David, satisfy us early with your mercy that we may rejoice all our life. Satisfy us early with your mercy that we may rejoice all our life. That means you have access to speed. I also now ask a question in my note. Did God answer his prayers? Let's go to the next verse. Let's look at, let's read on from verse 13 to verse 15. We have read verse 12. Did God answer his prayers? If God didn't answer his prayer, then we'll conclude that it is not the will of God for us to enjoy speed. Now look at this. He said, behold, I stand, he was still praying, I stand here by the wall, well of waters and the daughters of the men of the city come out to draw water. Daughters are coming out to draw water. Now let's move to the next verse. We stop at verse 15. Daughters are coming out to draw waters and let it come to pass that the damsel to whom I shall say, let down your pitcher, I pray thee that I may drink and she shall say, drink and I will give thy camels drink also. Let the same be she that thou art appointed for thy servant Isaac and thereby Shall I know that thou art shown kindness unto my master? Then look at the next verse, verse 15. He said, that's how I will show. Look at it. And it came to pass. Before he had done speaking. Can you see? Speed. Koto pari adura. Before he had done speaking, that behold, Rebekah came out, who was born to Bethuel, son of Milcah, the, the wife of now, Abraham's brother, with a pitcher upon her shoulder. Before the man finished praying, that speed. Before the man finished praying that speed, the Bible says, Koto Pariadura, Umbadua Lowo, Koto Pariadura, Yabai, Rebecca Yoni. Now, this is a man saying, Give me good speed. Now, she alone will lay down with Dura, eh? Oh, two months, it be all alone, no, Feka, wa no, bad, no, be, Kini, a Joa, Sik, Pelia, she, Yoriko, Shekini, Koya. Now, I say, Every man should, I want your mindset to change. God wants. Things about our life to work fast, very, very fast. Now, can you just imagine when a man decides, you know, to say, okay, I want to further my education. I want to further, and you are just repeating class. You are repeating the, the course, failing the course. You are coming again, carrying over, uh, you know, some curses, uh, some courses, and you are coming back again. That's not speed. You lay the foundation of a house. It has been there 10 years. It's still at the foundation level. Or after five years, can you imagine? After five years of lean foundation, you succeed to put, take it to window level. Another five years, you take it to linted level. Another five years, you put the two, two coaches on top. Another five years, you now decide to say, I want to roof. That's what, 20 years. Add 20 years to your year. That's why I pray. If there's any strange spirit working against your progress, making things to be slow for you, I curse them now in the name of Jesus. Tell your neighbor, say, speed is God's plan for my life. I didn't hear you. Yes, it's God's plan. So before we begin to pray, this is the question I have. Why should we pray for good speed? Why do we need to pray? Why not let us walk into it? Why did we come for prayer meeting? Number one, five areas we're looking at. We should pray for speed because of what? Opposing forces. You know, if, if you are running towards a direction and people are running against you, your journey will be slow. Because you will be batching into them and at times some of them may even push you back. We need to pray because of what? Opposing forces. Because some forces are antagonizing him. I will tell you some stories as we go on. But look at Zechariah chapter 3, verse 1. Let's confirm it. There are opposing forces. 
there are opposing forces. Zechariah chapter 3. Let's look at verse 1. Put it on screen for everybody to see. Zechariah chapter 3, verse 1. So that you will know that there are op opposing forces. And when power to Yeke, no. Wani, no, 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 no. We are not going to let you go. But you will prevail over them. The Bible says, And he showed me Joshua the high priest, standing before the angel of the Lord, and Satan standing at his right hand. To do what? To resist him. He wants to move, but there's a resisting force. He wants to succeed, but something is resisting him. Something is resisting him. And when we're going, no, you can't go. And tell me, she needs speed now. No, she just keep in a jewel slow. He wants to do something good, but he himself does not understand why the good thing is not happening at the pace that he expects. I was telling one of our people, I said, see. Maybe you didn't notice. I will remind you that you are a firstborn. Check the firstborn in your father's house. What is happening to you is happening to them. They are finding it difficult to move on. That's going to be our first prayer focus. I listened to a story. I think there are three of those stories I listened to and I want you to listen to them. The first one, it was Dr. Dukoya. Ulukoya of a mountain of fire that she had it. Listen to this story to bless you. Now, what was the story? He said he was on a plane going to Houston in America. And as the, uh, the flight was going on, he said, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he just noticed that the air hostess came towards his direction and asked him a question. Are you a doctor? He said, because in his name, he used to use Dr. DK Ulukoya. So they came. It's like you're a doctor. We saw doctor in front of your name. Please, we need your attention. He said, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a medical doctor. I am a doctor of science. I study science in school, you know, and I have doctorate degree to concerning that. You know, and he said, he said, we just need you. So he got and uh, followed them and they showed him a woman on the plane that the woman was just screaming, shouting, and was just talking and was no longer comfortable. She will sit down, she will stand up, she will fall down. She will sit down and she was just talking and talking. They said, they said, we noticed that this woman has not been finding it easy. It's like something is tormenting her. But the reason why we are going to call you is because he, she's a Nigerian like you. Maybe you will hear her language. He said he got towards the woman and discovered that the woman is from Edo State. But does not speak English. Dr. Lukoya said he now discovered her weight. Anybody that is from Edo must know how to speak pidgin. Abi, he said, he now asked the woman, Madam, waiting there, worry you. Ah, he said, the woman now said, Oga, I don't understand though. I lie down here now. I sit down for plane and sleep, catch me. Now I see one snake just enter my stomach. He won't come off of my mouth. He said, now look at this snake, enter your stomach and he won't come out, come off of your mouth. He said, yes, so. And uh, as you won't come off of my mouth, then make me just a shout. Just a shout. Just a shout. And I don't try to talk. People waiting here don't understand me. Dr. Luke, I said he understood. He now laid hand on her and commanded the snake to get out in the name of Jesus. He said the woman fell under the anointing. She picked her up and put her on the, on the seat. And all the white women that are else were looking at him. He we have not seen this kind of thing before. He now said, okay, bring food for her to eat. They brought food. After eating the food, you know what she, he said he discovered? He discovered the, that the woman's son, listen, lives in Houston in America and he invited the mommy to come over. She was traveling to go and see her son for the very first time. But there was an embargo that didn't want her to go. Now, do you know that they, if not that he intervened and prayed for her, they wanted to stop at the nearest airport so that they would bring her down from the plane, put her in the next flight coming back to Nigeria. See opposing forces. I didn't hear you now. You can do better. Opposing forces. Forces that doesn't want you to reach where God wants you to reach. I had another story again. True life story. 
It was from the same doctor. Look at I just, all these stories, I had them and I saved them on my phone. These are things that ginger me to play more. He talks about a woman that, was, that fell into labor. But the place that was near to them was a Abanese shrine. They ran there and she delivered. Firstborn. They had, uh, uh, she was pregnant of twins. The first one came out in the shrine. They did everything, everything possible to, for the second child to come out. The second child didn't come out. Then he said, let's rush to hospital. As they were going to hospital, he said, somebody met them on the road and said, ah, you are going to, church, to, to, to hospital. Why not branch at church? They entered church. While they were praying, the second born came out. So which means, Tyre was born in the shrine. Kendi was born in the church. Reverend Luca said, as I'm talking to you today, two of them have grown up. Tyre is in prison. Kendi is a pastor. Uh, we will deal with everything in our foundation that say we will not enjoy speed. When it's time to pray, I want us to deal with those things. Are you hearing me, somebody? I now listen to the thought, another testimony again. These are different, different preachings of this man of God that I took these testimonies from. The third one, this lady was born in a family of five. There are five girls. All the four did they marry. Then she attended a prayer meeting. While they were praying, it was a vigil. As the man of God said, everybody let us pray. Every strong man standing at the gate of my promised land fall down and die. The woman fell down. The woman herself fell down. The young lady fell down. And did not open her eyes from 12 midnight to 5 a.m. when vigil finished. It was when the usher went to wake up. Vigil to Paris. We are through with the vigil that she stood up and said, Do you know that when I fell down, I saw something? I saw myself entered a palace and I saw my four sisters wearing one kind of one garment, one colored garment. He said, And I saw a king on the palace, only Muroba to Joko, and when Gomu Berimeni, what Joko Yika, what the Jawasho Kono, Ulu Wangula, the same Marshal Lungo, Ulu Kono, the prayer point, Tonga, Lobo. A strong man, I like Barayon, to do see no no, that standing on at the gate of my promised land, fall down. Every strong man standing at the gate of my of my promised land, fall down now and die. He said, The, the king fell down and she woke up. He said, but while the king was falling down, the king was saying, do you know there's a covenant that your father made with us? Your father wanted money. And we asked him to sacrifice something. And he sacrificed the four daughters to the shrine. That my four daughters, that his first daughter, four daughters, will be the wife. They will not get married. For him to have money. They gave him money. Three months after, that lady got married. There are opposing forces here. You know what it means to run against, run towards contrary wind. You like the wind is coming this way, and you are trying to run. The wind will be pushing you back and trying to slow down your journey. Every man, let's be on our feet. Let's handle phase one. Be on your feet. I want us to pray. Are you set to pray, or you didn't come to pray? You must excel. You must prosper. Prayer point number one that you are going to declare. Are you said to pray? I didn't hear your voice. Say every force resisting my movement towards progress. I didn't hear you. every force resisting my movement towards progress. You are destroyed by fire now. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and begin to declare. Begin to declare. Declare them to be destroyed. Come on. Command their destruction now. In the name of Jesus. Every force resisting my, pro my movement towards progress. Come on. You are destroyed by fire now. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray for yourself. Command their destruction to begin to take place. Let their destruction begin to take place. Let their destruction begin to take place. Let their destruction begin to take place. In the name of Jesus. Basata Yagadabas. Reke de Basata Yara. Are you praying for yourself? 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 Are you pray for yourself? In the name of Jesus. You are destroyed. 
by fire in Jesus name you are destroyed by fire and every in the name of Jesus, we pattern do you commissary every contrary force you are destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Are you praying for yourself? Regada baba 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 basata yanga da baskele basaka da bara ragada bara shangada bara bas basikele maskele regede baskele. You are destroyed by fire. 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 You are you are destroyed. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. See after me. Say, I break through now. Every embargo of the enemy set over my life. I break free from them. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and begin to pray. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. I break free from every embargo placed over my life by the wicked ones. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray for yourself. Begin to pray for yourself. Rekada gada 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 basata yarabas ringe de bos balagada ba. Let's pray. It's a men's meeting. Let's pray like men. Let's pray like men. In the name of Jesus, every embargo placed over my life, Lord, I break free from them. Every demonic embargo, I break free from them. Are you praying? Rekada ba 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 basanta yanga da baskene le bosh. Rekada gada 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 basanta yanga da baskene. Are you praying? 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 La gada 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 gada. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Take prayer point number three. Say everything in my foundation fighting my progress. I disconnect from you now. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Everything in my foundation. Oh God. Shakadaba. That is affecting my progress. Hindering my progress. I disconnect from you. Begin to disconnect. Begin to disconnect. Men, begin to disconnect. Begin to disconnect. Are you praying for yourself? Are you praying for yourself? Begin to disconnect now. Begin to disconnect now. Begin to disconnect in the name of Jesus. Are you praying? Whatsoever is from my foundation, my biological foundation, my spiritual foundation that is, that is delaying my progress. I disconnect. Begin to disconnect now. In the name of Jesus, Balagada Bara, Basekele Maskene, Reke de Baskandera, Shakada Baskendelebo, Rakada Basendelebo, Rakada, pray, 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 pray. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Take the last one under it. Say, Every strong man, say, Every strong man standing at the gate of my promised land, opposing me. It is time. Fall down. Begin to die. In the name of Jesus. Begin to declare. Begin to declare their death now. Every strong man. Standing at the gates of my promised land. Ah, come on. Your time is up. Come on. Your time is up. Come on. Your time is up. Fall down. And begin to die. 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 Reke de ge 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 de Basata ya gadabaskine. Shakada barabas. Basata yengre. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Look at me. Let's take this one more. Today we are, we, we, we are having a meeting in, my, in our house. And we are talking about my mom. My younger brother was there. My younger sister was there. So we're now discussing my mom. Why should she die now that her children are making it? You know, we're just talking and talking and talking. Ah, and I remember certain things. You are going to pray for yourself. You know the prayer you're going to pray for yourself? You say every negative words. I have used my own mouth to speak against my life that the enemy is holding on. I remember one day, my mom had a misunderstanding with somebody. Listen, that's why I eat a man sorry, sure. Temawa to Bubor or Sile, taking fire, Jasile. So, my mom now spoke some things that somebody told her to this her friend. She now had misunderstanding with the friend. This her friend now went to tell the person this is what ah, mommy, mommy Grace said. This is what Mommy Grace said about you. I know some people are very confrontational. The person had and came to our house. I sat down at the staircase 
I was in GSS one or two. Mujo kuse no step. Lanti yende mubo mu kono le song pa mi. I you said this, 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 you said this. My mom wanted to cover because she didn't know that that person who can go and say it. She said to baje ke lo uto ni muso ke ma jiri a wamo mi. You know, I was not. I think I was in. Was it GS one or primary six? I can't because I was not yet rooted in Christ. But that was the day I believed that this thing they used to do in drama that if you do certain things or say certain things, like it will look like as if something rang a bell. Cling. I, as a young child, I noticed that something rang a bell. And I was there the day my mom was telling that person those things that they came back. Ah, ah. But you know, I was a child. I cannot say, Mommy, you said it. You should do that. This was what I thought of. That, ah, we all struggle, sir, till she die. It was when she died that doors began to open. I look at my younger one, brothers. So you wallow at the end, don't travel car key at Why is it now? I look at my younger sister, she too. Ah, thank God for your life. Why now? But you know this, you know this. We have a blood. The blood of Jesus. People don't know the power, the potency of the blood. The greatest thing that the blood of Jesus came to introduce is forgiveness. Once you can repent and say, Lord, I'm sorry, that's the end. Say after me, every negative word I speak against myself that the wicked is holding on to afflict my life. I am delivered today from such affliction by the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to declare in the name of Jesus. Every negative word Lord spoken by me that, I, that came out of my mouth. Lord, against myself, against my ministry, against my family, against, uh, Lord, what I do, that the wicked is holding upon to afflict my life. Father, Lord, today I am delivered from the power of such words in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, the blood that speaketh better. The blood that speaketh of better things. The blood that speaketh of better things. Begin to pray for yourself. 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 I am delivered. Lord, 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 I am delivered. I am delivered, O God. I am delivered, O God. I am delivered, O oh 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 God. Ah, Yagada Barabas. Shakada Barabas. Rege de Gede 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 Gede. Rakada Basanda Yaraske. Basanda Yagada Baskene. Shakada Barabas. Jesus, mighty name of prayer. Please sit down. Let's look at the second phase. We are looking at why should we pray for good speed. Number two, we should pray for speed. Hear me. Because of burdens that we did not call for. Kagbadua some some bodies are spiritual but you don't know you don't know why you have started your life so early yes you got married but you don't know the reason why 
family members are tied to the little things that comes from to your hands. So once you collect what you call salary or income, there are compulsory bills you must pay that slows down your journey. I know people that will say, sir, if I tell you the amount that has touched my hands, I always tell you, you don't, you don't judge success by the amount of money that passed through your hands. You judge it by the valuable things you do with it. Bodings is the reason why some news journey are not fast. Some years ago, I was coming from Iwo Road. I was coming to Liberty Road. I went through the express, the Iwo Road Express. And there was this truck, trailer, tanker that carries 33,000 liters of oil. That's what it usually carries. So I saw it from a distance coming behind. I said to myself, Eli, you live by me. And you know, I was driving that time a Jetta and I was on high speed. I, I, was, I was on 120. Yet, the, the truck that, that carries 33,000 liters was getting close. Kilo day, I went to 140. It just came beside me. Boom! And at 140, I could not even meet it. I now said to myself, so this truck is this fast. The reason why we think it is slow is because of whatever it carries. But that day it was empty. But once it loads 33,000 liters, even at, it will be going like, uh, 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 uh. even at 60, you will overtake it. Sir, permit me to tell you this truth. Bodings is the reason why some people's journey are slow. Let's confirm from scriptures. Exodus chapter 1 and verse 11. Thank God for Jesus. He said, come unto me, all you that are labor. Today we are going to hand over all buttons to him. Ecclesiastes, sorry, Exodus chapter 1 and verse 11. Exodus chapter 1, verse 11. Therefore, they did set over them taskmasters to do what? To afflict them. With what? With their bodies. Burden brings affliction. I come again. Burden brings affliction. Tell you about it, but you are a nera. And they built for Pharaoh treasure cities, pitoms, and Ramses. Now, you two, calculate your income, calculate the burdens. Show us the leftover. You start borrowing again from the tenth day of the new month. Some of you start writing, book me down. To the beginning, a jagai ball. But do you know that we have Jesus who said in his word, he said, Come unto me. He didn't say go with your body. Only go where you do it. Things she share. The atua di eru to eru to wu wu le lori. Only ewa. That will be our second point of prayer. You will shout aloud. You will jump up and pray. You shall, Lord Jesus, Jesus, O Lubalami. I cast my body into you. Spiritual body, take it over. All the bodies that I know of and I do not know of, take it over. Put your own body on me because say, your body is light. He said, my body is light and easy. Jump up on your feet, men. Jump up on your feet, men. Look up before you begin to pray. You know why? I want you to understand this prayer point and so that you can pray very well. If you go to the people of the world, they will mislead you. They will say, even those children that you are laboring on, 
when they become great, who will they remember? That's what people of the world will say. Abi, I was listening to one. The man packaged it very well. I was telling men, you better enjoy your life. You better eat what you want. You, because when your children grow up, they will take care of their mom. That's a life from the pit of hell. God is the rewarder. He's the one that rewards for neighbors. But listen, cast it to him. When you cast it to him, what do you get in return? When it is time for some of those compulsory burden to be picked up, he knows how to give you a miracle that will settle it that won't shake you. Or you don't know that he knows. He knows how to give you a miracle that we just, mm, don't worry. Somebody was still calling me today. Sir, how much are you paying next for your so so and so thing? I, I mentioned, he said, okay, I will see what I can do about today. Jesus, my savior. Take over my bodies. I hand them over to you. Take over this body. Put your own burden upon me and make my life easy. Are you set? Wa kigbeuru ko Jesu pelu it. Jesu oluba la mi o. Oya gba jaga ye mi. Fi a jaga ti e sori a ye mi fun mi ni. Si mi oya sodi adura. Let's begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, I call upon you right now. Basse ke le mose. I hand over my burdens to you. Lord, all the burdens upon my life. Both spiritual burdens, natural burden, financial burden, family burdens. I hand over to you. I hand over to you. I hand over to you, Jesus. I hand over to you, Jesus. Take it over. Take it over. Take it over. Take it over. Every burden placed upon my life that I know not of. Lord Jesus, take it over and let me enjoy peace. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray that he takes it over. 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 Yes, Lord Jesus, take it over. Take it over. Take it over. Take it over. Tell the Lord, I hand over, help me, Lord. I hand over, help me, Lord. Help me to carry it. Help me to carry it. Help me to carry it. Begin to pray. 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 Take over the body of my children's goofy, so God. Take over the body, Lord, of my family expenses. Take over the body of my ministry expenses. Lord, please take over this body. Lord, please take over this body and let me enjoy speed in progress. Now begin to mention it. Begin to mention it. Take over the body of my wedding, oh God. You want to get married? Begin to pray. Take over the body of me being able to establish myself and my family in business. Lord, take over this body. Are you praying? Take over the body, Lord. Lord Jesus, take over the body. Lord Jesus, take over the body. Ringe de bas, balagada ba, reke de boskine. Some of you men, you are not happy inside. You are just moving. Tell the Lord, you are in His presence. You are in His presence. You are in His presence. Lege de bos, shakada baras, baseke le maskine. Reke de baske ne le bos, raka yada baske, lege de bose, lagada baske ne le bos, shakada bas, lege de bose ke, balagada basata yada, raka yada bas. In the name of Jesus, 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 lega da bas, baya gada baras, lege de bose ne. Are you praying? 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 Lord help me. Lord help me. Lord help me. 
Rakayadabas, Shangadabas Kede, Balagadabase, Rakadabase, Lagadabase, Lord, Wamba Migbe, Bamiget Katamio, Jesu of Ah, Wamba Migerumi, Baba, Bamigerumi Dori. Mashe dami dabu kata miyo, jesu obaye. Eru wa ye mi to uwo biri, baba waba mi be. Ishoru wa ye mi to ba mi leru, jesu avro misi. Eh, nukuta aya, lo ni muta zeru e ni to fuye, aha. Jesu Christi ni kalaba ni she. Aha. Aha. Mama gender way. Oh, the cherry conino ayemi. Baba wo wo bale. Ati mane dalaye. O shoro folua. Tolua bati me da mono. Iba nu jemati bari bata bata. Mama mi beru mi uba. Let me hear you, man. Mami beru mi dori. Ma she da mi da bukata mi o. Jesu oba ye. This one says, Baba to be mi kule na mi lawo. Mama to be mi kule show ko wo. Jesu Christi, help me. Uh-huh. 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 I want to tell you, where do you eh? Kick the bell, kick the borara. Allah she will allow you. Baba mi beru mi o baba, baba mi beru mi dori. Ma she da mi da bukata mi o Jesu Abba. Put your hands together for the Lord. Be seated. Let's look at number three. The Lord will carry those burdens for you. You have handed them over to Jesus. You won't carry them again. You won't feel the pain again. Because Jesus has taken over. Number three. Third reason why we should pray for speed. We should pray for speed because of the absence of helpers. We should pray for speed because of what? The absence of helpers. Esa. Tiobasi el. If there is no help, you'll be tired. There's this man in John chapter 5 and verse 7. Look at what the Bible says about him. Let's look at the scripture. If, there's, if, if help is scarce, you, you won't have speed. The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man. When the water is troubled, to put me into the pool, but while I am coming, can you see? While I'm trying to come, another step, it, step it down before me. So I will now go back to where I used to be before. And I've been like this 38 years because I have no man. At this point, I want us to pray for ourselves. Beloved, we need help. We need help us. The journey is not easy without help. We need somebody that will tell us, go and use my distributorship right to get goods. We need somebody that will tell us, Can you, okay, don't worry, you know what? I'm going to add you to that conference. Let's travel together. We need somebody that will say, okay, don't bother. You know what? I have this 10 million that I don't need now. Can you go use it for a while? When we are talking about helpers, you know, the wrong people, people with wrong mindset think that we are talking about people that will just come and give us money. No. 
People don't give money just like that. When we talk about help, we are talking about people that will come with the assistance that will strengthen your hands. With the assistance that will strengthen your hands. That little thing you, are, you know how to do. Look at the man say, I try to go in, but the people that have people with them get there after me. You know me, I don't have leg. I don't have anybody that can carry me and throw me into the sea. Some of you, you have been running all your, all your journey in life. You have been running alone. Where you are now is a product of your own level of struggling. But it will stop tonight. You know why I say it will stop? Our prayers, God will answer it. Help us will arise. If you ask, if people can be sincere, if you ask the people that you see at the top, it's just that people are not sincere. You know why they are not sincere? If they tell you their full story, you will not see them as superhuman that you think they are. You know, there are men of God that believe that, can, that we believe they are superhuman. But if you ask them, many years ago, they asked Bishop David, Bishop, Bishop David, what's the secret of your strength in, and success in ministry? You know what he said? He said, the gift of men. The gift of men. Some kind of people came across me, my life. Came in contact with me. And I'm thanking God for it today. Are we going to pray? We need help. We were discussing at home today. My wife can testify to it. And my younger one asked me, this particular brother in our church, where is he? Ah, and I said, the brother is struggling. He's struggling. He's hardworking, but he's struggling. He said, Pastor, Pastor Mimo, she will help her. Could travel. She will help her could travel. And two of us were saying, if you can help him, he's a very hard working person. And I was looking at my wife's face to see what she would say. She said, Honey, I said, Yes, talk to him. He needs to be helped. Can I tell you this truth? You are just one step away to your greatness. One connection in with I want us to pray. Everything about me that is disconnecting me from helpers, I cut it off now. Listen, it cannot be a good thing that is disconnecting helpers because Gideon only, only blew the trumpet once and 30, 32,000 people got that to help him. Then God said they are too much. You need to reduce them. Everything in me, everything around my life that is disconnecting, driving helpers away from me, you say your time is up. You will give a command. You know how to command something to leave. Live my life now in the name of Jesus. Jump up on your feet and begin to declare everything about me, Lord. Regarda base in my life that is driving the pass away. Regarda base, de bos. I command you, get out of my life now. Get out now. Get out now. Regarda bada 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 bas. Shagada bada bas. Begin to declare, begin to declare, begin to declare, begin to declare. Rakada base, ani go go unto wani nume, to leolo rejino sime, mo pala sheni oruko jis. Oya chade ko wakbolo, go out and be destroyed. Be destroyed by fire. Are you praying? Are you praying? Legada barabaras, shagada barabas, baseke le maskene, rekada basataira. Now begin to shout, help us wherever you are. I call you, begin to locate me. Oya yala nu ibiki bitebawa, eberesini wa meri. Oya eberesini wa mekon. 
Oh yeah, but it's in the Wamiri. Oh yeah, but it's in the Wamikon. Begin to declare. Rakada bada 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 bas. Baseke ni maskini. Rakada bada bas. Shangada bada baskini. Baseke ni maskini le bos. Rege dege dege des. Rege dege dege des. Rege dege dege des. Basata yada bas. Men pray. In Jesus, mighty name we are praying. Pray this prayer. As they connect with me, Father, they will not have trouble. You know, some people used to believe that Moshe is small but dying and we can call law negative for me. She said, I want to make a long vacation here. She said, Mama, what have you been doing? Wrong person, let me. O se le se ni kan na be ti mo mo won gba si se o dupe o lo church e o se thanksgiving gba to ma do su keta ma yin sack yan o sack e ma won to sack mo wa do ba ma yin pe ki lo se le sa te se sack brother o ni won mo kan tun se le o ni won kan notice pe awon to won employ season to won employ gbogbo from that time 3 months business won lo le Wow, okay, Jonah can't walk anymore. Oh, the damn! So when they're asking, "Bugu, I want to employ in time." Wow, so quick, Bugu, lo, we to bash, we see me. To summon me, let's be merry. Olu ajeki, onama lafu. Kuda bi oro Jacobu. Tiliba no sope. Ati shewadi. Aderi kweni tori itie. Ni olorun se nbu kan fun mi Oluwa je koro temi na ko ri be oya so di adura begin to pray for yourself every helper connected to me from today shall prosper make them prosper anyone that stretch the hand of fellowship to me make them prosper let they themselves know that it is because of their relationship with me that they are prospering in the name of Jesus begin to pray begin to pray begin to pray begin to pray regarda ba se People that are closer to me, we don't have problems. People that are closer to me, we don't have trouble. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Now, be seated. Let's look at number four. We'll stop at number five. Number four. Why should we pray for good speed? We should pray for speed. Because so many people experience delay as a result of the error of their parents. What does that mean? Some people are experiencing delay today because of the error of their parents. Some of you, your parents did not invest in you as you are investing in your own children today. What's here in the school? They didn't have any structure to say, well, this is what we are going to do. They didn't care. But you are just struggling because your parents, because of your parents' error. You know the prayer point that I received from here? You say, oh Lord, compensate, compensate me with miracles for the error that my parents made over my life. Ecclesiastes E Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 2 Ezekiel chapter 18 and verse 2 the reason why some people's life is slow today is because of the error of parents if the way we are laboring on our children today our parents labored over us in their days we won't be where we are So of us, our parents were just getting married to new new wives and leaving the responsibility to the, to the mothers. Do you know that some parents today are lobbying to put their children in high places? If you had that kind of opportunity, you won't be where you are. Look, he said, what mean ye? That you use this proverb concerning the land of Israel, saying, 
the fathers have eaten salt grapes and the children's teeth are set on edge. Now, some of you, your parents created more than enough problems for you. That you have not even started fighting your own battle. Some of you are still fighting the battle that your parents created. Sir? And you know, that was what Jacob said. He said, when will I care for my own house? Liban, I want to go. When will I care for my own house? I've been caring for your house. So, and to now make it worse some parents hear me they live their life in such a way that they have now become an extra burden to you today so you carry them before you now begin to carry your own immediate family and if you look at the bible order of parenting the bible says if a godly man, a righteous man, leave it an inheritance behind for what? His children's children. Now, can you imagine if your grandpa left an inheritance for you? Tonya, Baba Jimo. Uh, 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 Jimo one. It was Jimon 3, like, Jimon 1. Jimon 1. Jimon 3, one a car left for me. I know you won't be where you are now. So, a lot of you cannot, are not enjoying speed because of what parental mistakes. Our mistakes now will be shale. So, Elumia will be able to motivate Barry. That's why you see that some people, even at 50, they just went back to school. So, when we did graduate, talk less of when children will graduate. Say, Lord, help me. I didn't hear you. Say, help me, Lord. I attended a wedding in my wife's family. The young girl that was well, getting married, her grandma had been in the U.S. over 30 years ago. He had to be here in the U.S. over 30 years ago. When the grandma loan send the grandma from a long way, I want to enjoy a lot of kids where she will put the deal. Is your struggle at the law? Grandma, you were married 30 years ago. Father, we are going to ask for divine compensation for all the mistakes my parents have made with my life, all the mistakes they have made with my destiny. By your mercy, oh God, please compensate me. Jump up on your feet and begin to pray in the name of Jesus for all the mistakes that my father, my mother has made with my life, with my destiny. Oh Lord, by your mercy, please compensate me. Are you praying for yourself? Lord, compensate me by your mercy. 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 Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Labor satayaras. Ricada basken de lebos. Are you praying for yourself? When God compensates you, brethren, there will be speed. When God compensates you, brethren, there will be speed. Ah, la gada basoto yenga da baskendele. Reke de bosoto yenga da baskandayara. Barre gada basendele moskendele bos. 
Shankada Basanda Yanga da Baskin in the most. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Sit down. Let's look at the last one. I told you five. This is the last one. Why should we pray for good speed? Number five. We should pray for speed because the land at times is hard. When the land is hard, you need God's help to have speed. In 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 18, 19, 20 and 21. 2 Kings chapter 2, 18 to 21. And when they came again to him, he tarried at Jericho. He said unto them, Did I not say unto you, Go not? Verse 19. And the men of the city said unto Elisha, Behold, I pray thee, the situation of this city is pleasant. And my Lord see it. But the water is not and the ground barren. Verse 20. And he said, bring me a new cruise and put salt therein. And they brought it to him. The land will be healed for your sake. I'm a wo Nigeria son. I'm a wo ile son to eat here. And he went forth unto the spring of the waters and cast the salt in there and said thus said the Lord I have healed these waters there shall not be from thence any more death or barrenness you know if a land is hard people don't enjoy speed in progress just like what is happening in Nigeria today the land is hard the land is hard a dollar is about 100 and something. I mean, 1,000, 1,000, 130. Pardon, I remember those days. So if you have a $100 now, you have 130, 1,000. Abi? Now that's why you see that prices of things are just going high. You go price something today, you get there tomorrow. People are wondering what is happening. But God will heal this land for your sake. Prices of houses. If, I, if you come to where I live, in the estate where I live, you see several flats. House to let. House to let. I want your Magbali. I was asking, what is going on? They said, three bedroom flat, 600K. I said, is it total package? They said, no, it's only rent. Have you furnished it for us? No, you should ask. She furnished furnish it to one Benny. He said, No, nothing is there except ties. Ha. If you ask this one again, there's a two bedroom flat, 500K. So you see empty flats. You begin to hear people's debts from all over. But instead of debts, you will prosper. Now, you know what you are going to pray for? You say, oh Lord God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, heal this land for me. Heal the land for me to prosper. In the name of Jesus. Continue to pray. Oh Lord God, heal the land for me to prosper. In the name of Jesus. Let's begin to pray for healing. 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 Let's begin to pray for the healing of the land. In the name of Jesus. For prosperity. I want to prosper, oh God. Father, please heal the land for me to prosper. In the name of Jesus. Begin to ask for healing. Ask for healing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Just begin to thank God for answer to prayers. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. 
Lord. 